Hello and welcome to Fenextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace. And in today's interview, we're talking about innovation, the technology driving it, and unlocking value for SMEs. On the line to guide us through the topic now is Jeff Wright, Senior Vice President, Equipment Digital, Client Solutions, Canadian Western Bank, and Cam Chana, Product Innovation Director at Temenos. So welcome to the both of you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Good to have you on. So Cam, yes, coming to you first, could you set the scene for our audience then and describe the landscape for SMEs and their banks today? Um, and what are some of the key issues they're facing? Let's start there. Oh, more than happy to. Uh, thank you, Hannah. So I think, I think key, key to the context of, of what we're doing here at Temenos by bringing the industry together is looking at the real challenge for SMEs, but at the same time, the real challenge for banks. We started off uh, probably a couple of years ago now looking, doing some market research to try and really understand not only the opportunity for banks, but the problem that banks are having today in in really wrapping their arms around this underserved segment that is that is the small business banking sector. Um, we know it's been historically underserved, but at the same time, it is the biggest sector in the industry, making up 90% of, in some cases in some countries around the world, 97% of private organizations are SMEs. So they're a thriving and, and ripe um, industry to, to look at and to serve and to understand. And what we found as we started to do the market research was firstly, from the bank's perspective, um, the the risk was always that uh, they're a really difficult market. There, there's so many, there's millions of them, they're all diverse, they've all got different needs. Um, and quite often, they've all got different funding sources as well. Not all of them are formalized, which means from a bank's perspective, it's quite a big risk to take uh, to take a bet on an SME. But even more importantly, we stepped beyond the banks and they went to the SMEs themselves. In total, I think over the last couple of years, we've carried out around 300 or so interviews with actual SMEs to really understand, not ask them what they want, but to really understand their challenges. And the number one challenge that came out was the time to grow, the time to grow and the knowledge to grow. It wasn't so much the assumed challenge of they just need more funding. It was the fact that they they just don't often know what they're doing. They often have a great idea and have great ambition. But the minute they start to form a company and they get lost in taxation setups and corporations and so on, it all falls apart fairly easily, fairly quickly, rather. Um, and what was really sad was actually speaking to quite a lot of these organizations saying we had big ambition. We had high hopes for being the next big startup. Um, but very quickly, the administrative burden of running a small business weighs them down. And, and suddenly they're, they're just a small growth, uh, a low growth company that's not getting the support it needs from the bank. Because Jeff, you were, you were part of that journey um, very early on when we started to pull that market view together. Uh, do you concur? Is there anything else that from bank's perspective you, you saw as an opportunity in the SME space? Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. You know, what we saw initially was every time you do uh, customer loyalty surveys in the industry, small business owners consistently report lower scores than any other segment. And so we, we know they're underserved. The question was why? Um, and what really came out was um, they're just not big enough to get the attention of the commercial banks and their needs are different than the typical retail client. And so they were kind of stuck in the middle. Um, and so we knew there was an opportunity to figure out how to bring a different kind of value to them. And I'm very aware that the two of you have been busy innovating in this space. So I'd love for you both to tell me a bit about what you've been doing and also how. So Jeff, uh, Big Gate, if you could kick things off there. Sure. Um, so it all really started off, uh, you know, we had a conversation with Cam that turned into a Temenos Think Space event in London. Uh, I guess almost two years ago now. Um, and so you know, we had, I think, 10 to 15 different banks from around the world come together. We reviewed the market research that Cam talked about, um, and they brought in a number of small business owners. And so we, we talked to them. Um, we did a, a design thinking exercise and came up with, I think, six or seven different great ideas of things that we could do in the SME space uh, over a two-day period. Um, I think within days of that, I was on the phone with Cam going, okay, we want to build one. Um, and, uh, and the next spring, we launched into a 12-week uh, innovation project. Um, it started off with the whole team together here in Edmonton for a week. 
um, and then COVID lockdown hit um, and we went virtual. Um, but over the 12 weeks, we, uh, we spoke to clients, we really got underneath what the need was and started to develop um, the sense of an idea. Um, and so as we kind of narrowed in and, you know, we kind of worked down the funnel from a broad concept to a specific idea that we wanted to bring to life. And along the way, kept having touch points with clients um, and they would either validate or, or redirect us a little bit um, that by the end of that 12 weeks, we had a really exciting idea that, that we now call the virtual COO um, and then turned our attention to bringing it to life. Um, and now we're we're in the middle of the build um, and are excited to be launching really soon. And Cam, what about in terms of technology? What were you doing around that? So I think key key to the whole process and, and to, to add to what Jeff just said, we the starting point was not the technology. So the starting point was, as you've hopefully heard, um, what is the problem? Now let's let's really empathize and understand what the challenge is, then let's define the problem and then work out what the experience solution is. So technology didn't actually come into play until very late into that 12 week process where we then thought, right, we now know what we need to build, what technology exists out there and how could we pull multiple technologies together to enable that. So from a technology point of view, it was a real orchestration of multiple technologies that in, in the end created a, a greater whole than the sum of its parts. Um, and key to that was intelligence. Um, it's the, the starting point, if you like, for the whole concept is the aggregation of data. So in many ways, we're going beyond open banking. This is about being, this is almost open data. This is being open banking ready, open data ready. So the first premise was going beyond banking and looking at more than just banking data, pulling together multiple data feeds, and then running intelligence and analytics and, and XAI through that. Where we really drove uh, our thinking and, and the concepts of what the VCOO can actually do was in using our XAI technology to enable businesses to not just be told what's going to happen, but actually to get the help to solve those problems. So this isn't just about AI for the purpose of insight, it's it's analytics and AI and more technologies for the purpose of we'll actually help you solve those problems. And we'll sometimes do it without you because we're learning about what you need and what you don't need and what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So the technology aspect is super exciting because we're edging it along into, into territory that the technology has never been used before. And that's, that's truly exciting. Yes, the, the, v, uh, the VCO, as you call it, virtual COO, uh, an incredible concept. Jeff, could you maybe highlight uh, some of the sort of main benefits from this? Yeah, it, you know, it really started from the insight that Cam mentioned that small business owners are are really comfortable and often amazing at whatever their business is about. Um, what they're less comfortable with is how to run a business. And so we tried to um, build a platform that acts like that COO that they don't have and brings together the information around the health of their company, um, how their cash flow is doing, Maybe if they're seeing orders peaking, are they ready for that? All those types of situations that a business owner might typically have to deal with. And then we turn that into advice and say, hey, we see this happening. Think maybe you should consider this action. And, uh, and the client agrees and away we go. And so it's giving them that helping hand that it's hard for a small business owner to find. And it's an incredible product. I am really looking forward to seeing it evolve and develop and hearing more about it further down the line. Uh, but for those that want to learn more and can't wait, Cam, um, where can they learn more about the VCO um, solution for SMEs going forward then? So we'll be running um, a number of sessions at our annual uh, Terminals Community Forum, uh, which is this year is on, on May 26th and 27th. Um, so come join us then. Uh, the details are on all the usual social channels, but also Terminals.com. Um, and I'll be there and Jeff will be there and we'll share more details about what's under the hood and what exactly what technology we are using to make the magic happen. Well, I think it's safe to say watch this space. Uh, Cam, Jeff, we'll leave it there today. Thank you so much for calling in and some really exciting developments ahead. Thank you, Hannah. Thanks.